All right, Alexis is putting her rubber boots on. We're fixing to let her go fire this 17 cal before we go walking on the other side of the creek and see if we can find a hog. Am I driving? You're driving. Yeah, that ought to be about good hog range right there. Remember, just steady breathing. Breathe in, exhale halfway out as you squeeze the trigger. I'm gonna just close my eyes and shoot. Yeah, you could do that, but it should be a surprise when it goes off to you. Did it feel good to you? Yeah, it's I'm a little shaky, but I hit the target. Good. That's the main thing. <laughs> How close to the bullseye did you get? I'm in it. Oh, excellent. Very good. You gonna fire another one? One more. Okay. All right, what we got here? Is that third one? I see two in the bullseye. I got one yeah. At four o'clock in the ring. All right. We got a. Escort out to the uh, north side of the creek. Now we're going to ease in here and see what we can find. I already got mosquitoes buzzing me. Man, there's a bunch of mosquitoes down here. I'm not seeing a whole lot of may be over on the other side of the creek. The creek's been up for a few days. Just then I spotted some movement over to my left. Did you see it? <laughs> it is sopping wet down here. Water standing everywhere. I think we'll go ahead and move to high ground because I don't think they're going to be down in here too much. Well, we're finally getting into some hog sign. Now, if we can just find the hogs that made the sign, the creek's still up. It's not raging, but it's it's up quite a bit. favorite hog wallers and they've been in it fairly recently still pretty muddy got a little bit of water running down through here where they jumped in there and overflowed it Finally got into some fresh hog sign. Didn't see any hogs though. But the uh, ticks are tearing into Alexis and the mosquitoes are after me like crazy. They're about to lift me up and drop me for dead. It's ridiculous that. Uh, literally have them all over me. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna get out of here and uh, try this maybe later this evening on a different part of the uh, creek. Anyways, we're out of here. Damn. Right between the eyes. Take a shot if you can. Yeah, let's go. We got all over there. We nearly walked past a hog. He's just up the hill a little bit. He knows something's up though. One 
Jack, let me get my binoculars up. I don't see him with the binoculars. We're just going to ease in real slow. in on them again. Alright, we're still trying to follow that hog. That sound knew we were in the area, so she didn't stop running until she left the county. So Alexis and I went back to the house and prepared for a night hunt. Alright, Alexis and I are down at the end of the ridge. It's dark. I'm pretty sure we see a hog down there with the night vision scope. So, we're going to see if we can get a little bit closer to it and see if we can't get a shot in on it. You ready? The wind's at a good good angle, so we should be okay. There is, oh, looks to be only one. It looks to be a black one. Maybe about 75 pounds or so. We'll find out here shortly. Completely my fault, but at this point, the Wraith night vision scope dies on me. I don't know what that is. I don't know if we can even see it. Oh. It's a line of lights. It's not stopping. All right, it's a long line. I mean, a long line of lights. I thought it flying was in immediate. single file. There's no flashing, no flickering. Good Lord, how many lights are there? Why they? are they disappearing after? There's a couple of them that are slightly out of line. I have no idea what that was. I've never seen anything like it before. That's insane. That has got to... What could that be? I don't... I don't have a clue. I don't either. I couldn't see anything on my screen. All right. <laughs> we have the worst stinking luck. So, our battery died on the night vision scope. So, we went back and got fresh batteries. I just had a bug fly in my ear. Oh my God, it's about to drive me crazy. I came back out. Eat a I look like a Cro-Magnon <laughs> man. I know I already am. Elon Musk launched his daggum satellites off, and we thought we were being invaded by aliens. The 60 of them suckers were flying in formation. So once we figured out we weren't about to die from alien invasions, then we uh, eased on down the ridge, and uh, the hog left. But there's a small one up ahead, so I'm probably going to go ahead and take them. I'm probably going to go ahead and take the small one. They're good eating. But anyways, this has got to be the absolute worst cam camera angle for me. Anyways. This is the sow that I'm about to take. Unfortunately, the smaller AA batteries lost contact in the Wraith night scope and the recording data was corrupted. Sorry about that. Believe me, I was not happy. This is after the shot and I'm just scanning the field to make sure there's nothing big out there with tusk before I approach the sow. That's her laying in the grass, so Alexis and I slowly start approaching the area. All right, we're stumbling through all the hog rooting down here. They've got some deep rooting going on down here. You see where it is? Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good looking pig. Awesome, good deal. Looks like he got it right there. This is an instant kill. Well, she didn't go anywhere, she just dropped. Yeah, 6.5 Grindle did a good job. Yeah, that'll work. All right, time to hang the hog. Okay, we got that hog skinned and quartered up, and uh, it's 
what is it? It's one minute till midnight. <laughs> and so we're gonna drive into town and get some of that bulk ice they have in town. Throw some ice on this hog and then come back and get some sleep. We're tired. So anyways, hope you enjoyed that little hog hunt. See you guys later. Bye.